<laughs> Kevin Kirkwood, a shy, anonymous man living alone in a small apartment in a small town. A man whose life was normal in every way. Normal, that is, until the night he received an unexpected visitor. <laughs> Kevin Kirkwood. What the heck? Kevin Kirkwood. Uh, yes? You have been chosen. Uh, uh, who are you? I am God. Wow. And you have been chosen. What, for the sweepstakes thing there? You have been chosen to tell the world my message. Oh, yeah? You must tell the world. Write this down. Oh, right. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a pen on you, would you? No. Oh. Well, I do, but it's really big. Oh, it's okay, I found one. Go ahead. The message to the world is, change thy ways or perish. Or perish. Got it. Farewell. Holy cow. I gotta tell Philip about this. Hi, Philip. It's Kevin. Guess what just happened to me? What? No. No. Oh, not that. Oh, as if. No, stop guessing. No, I wish, yeah. No, I'll tell you, God just visited me. God, yeah. Uh-huh, he had a really cool voice. What? No, not just the chat, he told me a message. What? Oh yeah, I wrote it down, one second. <laughs> Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, the message is, change thy ways or perish. What? Or perish. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Are we going bowling on Friday? Okay, see you then. Bye. <laughs> Two weeks later, at the neighborhood laundromat. Where everybody knows your name. Do -do -do -do. Kevin. Oh, hi, God. Two weeks have gone by and you have only given the message to your friend, Philip. Oh, the message, right. There are 5,664,330,212 people in the world. Please pick up the pace. Right, no problem, God. I, I just kind of forgot. Do you remember the message? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, uh... Spread your wings or perish? Change thy ways or perish. Right, okay. No problem, I got it. Very well. Okay, bye, God. Oh, wait. Uh, do you wash whites in hot or cold? It depends. Are you gonna use bleach? Uh, no. Well, then use hot water. But put it Two on the months side. later... I'm home from the supermarket, Fuffles. <laughs> All right, messages. Hey, Kevin. It's Philip. They're showing Herbie Goes Bananas at the Rep Theater tomorrow. You wanna go? Call me. All right. Kevin, this is God. I don't wanna be a jerk about this, but, uh, the message to the world thing... Aw, oh, jeez, the message. I gotta do that. This time, Kevin did remember to spread the message. Unfortunately, it was the message about Herbie Goes Bananas playing at the Rep Theater. The theater reported record attendance that night, but God's message remained untold. Several weeks later, Kevin received yet another visit from God. This time at the local video arcade. Ooh. Oh, all right, level five. Whoa! Uh, sorry, God. What were you saying? The message. It's not about Herbie. Whoa! My shield wore off. So? The flying mushrooms are dropping super bombs on me. Whoa! Well, why don't you take shelter under that thing? What? Oh no, I can't. Watch do out that. for the guy! Whoa! Oh, that was close. Thanks, God. No problem. Hey, you want to take the jump button? Okay. Push it. Oh, nice! All right. Oh. Hey, eat the pie! Eat the pie! One week later... Hi, Kevin. This is God. Are we still on for bowling on Friday? Call me. My number is 823-9538-8599-2344-9505. Gradually, God lost interest in spreading his message and eventually gave up on the idea altogether. Instead, he got a job as a voiceover man for radio commercials. One night only at the Civic Auditorium. Monster trucks, the ultimate power machine. 3,000 tons of motor madness. It'll be awesome. As for Kevin, 
Although he may have failed miserably in his role as a prophet, he did gain a friend. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good one. Yeah. <laughs> Grab me another brewski there, Kev. Yeah, sure, God. Whoa. And that's the story of Kevin and God. Oh, 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 right on his head. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Fuffles. <laughs> oh, 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 look, look, look. Oh. <laughs>